In the southern Utah backcountry, between soaring pink cliffs, open desert, and narrow canyons, at what is known as Old Corral Springs, southern Paiute Jackson Bow guides a crew of other Native Americans in eliminating invasive and harmful plants. Just cut all that back right over, right through there, all the way down to the bottom of this little stream. They seed the area with new native grasses. What it looks like. Is that going to work? They also fence the area in hopes of protecting it from cattle and hope to revegetate the scarce water source with plants useful for the Paiute tribe. It's called red willow, or sometimes they call it coyote willow, and it's something that um, it can be used in basket, making baskets, making cradle boards, things like that. Wild roses, um, in, in a good food source too, the rose hips, something that Indian people ate. Sage over there was important to Indian people, that's medicine, you know, something that could be used for coals, um, also used for spiritual um, wellness. The Audubon Society cooperated with Grand Staircase Partners to support the project. When we were looking at the plants that the native birds used and that the Paiutes used for traditional uses, they were those same plants. And so but in the end, what benefits the birds also benefits the Paiutes. So it seemed just a natural fit. Southern Utah University students involved with the Intergovernmental Internship Cooperative cut out tamarisk or salt cedar and juniper trees that steal water from other plants. On the monument, water is probably one of the scarcest things that we have, and particularly on the surface. And so uh, any place where you have the possibility of getting water back on the ground surface, it becomes a very important area. And these invasive plants like uh, Russian olive and salt cedar have come into these different drainages, and they consume an incredible amount of surface water. And so by eliminating these invasives, we're hoping to see the surface water come back. Water is a commonality for all, everything that lives. Whenever we can be involved in areas that help maintain and bring back the health of water resources, we're all going to benefit. Every ethnic group, every living, every living thing. This project will touch on that. That's very exciting and it touches me very deeply. They immediately spray the stumps with biodegradable water-based poison laced with a dye so the crew knows what has been treated. Beneficial plants will grow back in. Cliff Rose was a really important plant and that, that Cliff Rose was as a source for um, clothing. Um, our people, they made skirts out of it to wear, um, breech cloth, leggings, um, they made mats to sit on, so it was very useful. That was our our clothing store. There is more at stake here than restoring native plants. It's very important. You know, that's all a part of our culture. You know, we can't let that kind of thing go because so much is already being lost. Elders, they get together like, you know, once a week or so to do Native American crafts and stuff and they try to invite the youth out and just try to try to, you know, teach teach the Paiute language back again, you know, and I, but I sadly do see it kind of deteriorate just a bit because of you know, ne new technology, new modern age and stuff. They start to find this relationship with this land that I don't even think they recognize what it is. And I think it's them okay. literally connecting with their ancestral home, which is this, this land, this public land that we're in. It's a good opportunity for them to make enough money during the summer to keep them in school. And also, we require that they get, uh, they have an academic tie to what they're doing. So that keeps those native kids in school and keeps them at SUU in school so that they finish their degree. And that's the whole point, is to finish their education so that furthers them in life. This Bureau of Indian Affairs crew usually fights fires. But before fire season and between fires, they work on projects like this. I love working out here. You know, it's... I don't like working in offices or anything like that, and so this is like the ideal job for me. It's hard work, but it pays off later, so. <laughs> I definitely like fighting fire. That's why I kind of got into it. Um, so applying for the fire crew and then getting this is just a bonus. You know, it's just, just an awesome experience. The Paiute tribe will continue to provide guidance on which plants can be restored to the area once more surface water returns for the plants. 
The Grand Staircase Escalante National Monument, managed by the U.S. Bureau of Land Management, will continue to improve natural habitat, provide areas for scientific and cultural research, and work with local communities in better maintaining and understanding the land. For SUTV News, I'm John Smith.